Good day, everyone. I am Engineer Godofredo Lepos Jr. and I am here to present my paper entitled Electronic Smart Plug for Appliance Recognition Through Power Signature Analysis, an ILM Approach. So here is the presentation summary. So I have included the introduction of the study, objectives of the study, some related literature, the comparison between the ILM and NILM approach, and for the methodology, we have hardware and software description, theoretical and conceptual framework, research design, data gathering procedure and instruments, and also the statistical treatment. So for the introduction, we know that electrical energy has become one of the most significant commodities that has been utilized in everyday life, uh, making it increasingly difficult for energy distributors to control and uh, to control the consumption and distribute it fairly to the consumers. So here are the following problems that account for that reason. So first is we have insufficient electrical energy sources. Second is an increase in the demand for energy and last is the energy waste. Now, according to Aditya Sharma, a power analyst at Global Data, she stated that by 2023, the power demand in the country is going to increase significantly. Now, numerous cases such as quick industrial expansion and the rise in electrical demand for homes and anticipated to fuel this demand. Now, here are the objectives of the study. So the main objective of the study is to develop a system that will recognize the appliances through its power signatures. And the main objectives can be subdivided into five specific objectives. First is to create a smart plug that incorporates the used algorithm and can function with standard appliances. Second is to classify appliances according to their power signatures. Third is to use a machine learning algorithm in classifying the appliances. Fourth is to analyze the data locally to reduce communication costs and protect the device owner's privacy. And lastly is to design a mobile application that shows the prediction of the kind of appliance plugged into the smart plug. Um, here are some of the related literatures that has been uh, been uh, an important in the re realization of the study. So first is the research conducted by Athanasiadis et al. near 2021. It is the scalable real-time non-intrusive load monitoring system power consumption. Uh, in this study, they analyze the total aggregated data measurements monitored from a single sensor placed in the central meter of the residence. Now, this is the uh, concept behind the NILM approach. Now, another study was published by Penha et al. in year 2017, Convolutional Neural Network Applied to the Identification of Residential Equipment in an Intrusive Load Monitoring System. So this is also an NILM approach while they utilize the use of convolutional neural network or the CNN in the training and identifying the classification of the equipment. Uh, what is ILM or the intrusive load monitoring? It is the term used when load monitoring requires the installation of a measurement devices at each load of interest. Now, if you want to um, monitor three devices or three appliances, then you if, if you are using ILM approach, you need to create three meters, one for each individual appliances. But if you are going to monitor a group of appliances, then non-intrusive load monitoring is the best uh, choice for you since it does not necessarily um, put individual sensors or meters for each appliances, but uh, the total electricity usage has been um, recorded. Now, for the load classification, we have four types. Uh, the type one is the... Uh, on and off states, so such as toasters and kettles. For the type two, we have multi-state devices such as washing machine machines and refrigerators. Uh, for the type three, we have continuously variable devices or the CVDs. Um, these are uh, examples are laptops and electric drills. For the type four, we have permanent consumer devices which remain active for a long time. So, uh, in this research paper. Uh, the researcher um, used only three types, which is the type 1, type 2, and type 3. For the hardware description, so we used uh, the Raspberry Pi as the main uh, microprocessor or microcontroller of the project. 
Then I also used ACS712 for the current sensor. Then ADS1015 for the analog to digital converter. And resistor for um, voltage sensor. And then we also have jump jump wires, flat wires for the connections, and a plastic enclosure and electrical outlet. For the software descriptions, so I used Tony IDE. This is a built-in IDE for Raspberry Pi. And I also used the Android Studio for the mobile application development. The, here are the software description for the mobile application. So as you can see, this is the splash screen design. Uh, this is also the main screen design. Um, if the appliances has been connected to the e-plug, uh, the e-plug will recognize the identif or identify the classification of the appliances. One the, once the classification has been identified, then in the mobile application, it will display what type of appliances has been connected. Okay, so for the theoretical framework, we have, uh, as to the inputs, we have voltage and current. Then to the process, we have to extract features and analyze the data. No? And then lastly, we have for the output, uh, appliance classification. For the conceptual framework, so first is we have to acquire the data. Uh, and then after acquiring the data, we have to process the data. So in this part, we have to convert from analog to digital. And then after that, we have to extract features such as um, RMS, the RMS, or those are the what we so call the power signatures. And then after extracting the features, we have to train the model. And then um, each model that has been trained will be um, classified. And if the training has been done, then we can also test the appliances and if the appliances classification is in the classification model then um, it will probably predict the class okay for the research design i have here the e-plug okay the e-plug has been um, controlled by the raspberry pi uh, in which the data has been transferred to local and then transferred to the cloud database, which is what we saw for the Firebase. This is an, this is an open database, real-time database. And then after that is the data will be extracted and then the smartphone will get the data from the cloud base, then display it in your mobile application. I also have the... Uh, uh, still, the research design, I, uh, I have here the framework for uh, the e-plug. So this is the architecture of the e-plug. So um, from the power source, I have connected current sensor and voltage sensor. And then the raw data must be converted from analog to digital and then processed by the Raspberry Pi. And then um, some machine learning algorithm then the data will be transferred through Wi-Fi or it can be stored in a micro SD card. Um, for the data gathering procedure and instruments, so I have classified six device types for this research. So first is the light bulb, soldering iron, rice cooker, iron laptop, and smartphones. Now each device type has been sampled 120 times per second for 20 seconds and uh, once the sample has been collected then we can extract uh, electrical power quantities from it so first uh, i have considered the uh, vrms the irms the peak current irms to peak current ratio true power apparent power and the power factor now for the statistical treatment so i have used confusion matrix in order to classify the um, appliances so once there are um, true positives and true negatives, then I can compute for the accuracy of the uh, system. And I used uh, this formula. So we have precession. So in order to get the precession, we have true positive divided by the true positive plus the false positive. And for the recall, I have a true positive divided by the true fat positive plus the false negative. 
And, and lastly, I have considered F1 score. So for the F1 score, we have two times the precision times recall all over the precision plus recall. Now, uh, I do believe that this research will open up opportunities in the future, such as determining whether or not a certain appliance is malfunctioning based on the analysis of its power signature and characteristics. So I guess that would be all. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.